early on, our mantra sort of governing everything we did, you and I came up with, we said, let's build a place that anybody thinking of building or remodeling in Northeast Ohio is going to say, you've got to go to Hartville Hardware. And to that end, Howard, I think we accomplished that. Well, thank you, Paul, for coming in and, uh, and sitting here and talking a little bit about this project, the Idea House, and reminiscing a little bit about how it, how it started. Uh, you know, I've known you since we were teenagers, and we spent a lot of time together in church and as, uh, as friends. And, uh, you know, you grew up Amish, I grew up Beachy Amish. We had a lot of the same cultures. Uh, and so, you know, we just have kind of meshed over the years, and, and I really appreciate uh, you as a, as a friend, but also, you know, as a builder. You, you know, I don't know if you remember, but I, I wanted to put a new kitchen in my house, and I, I went to you because you are very artistic, and, and you, you can see things. You can visualize it. And so that's been a gift of yours over the years, and I've, I really appreciate that. I, so, I, thank you for saying that. I, I, th that means a lot, and uh, I appreciate that. Can you tell me a little bit about how, what you remember about how we, where this vision came from? Yeah. You know, how this all started, how it all happened? Well, I, what I remember, Howard, is many years ago, before this store was built, it was a concept, an idea that you were rolling around. I was at the Cleveland uh, Home and Garden Show and happened to run into you, just coincidence, uh, there was a house built inside the store, and there was this long line of people. I think they might have even been paying money to get to see the house, you know. And you were looking at that, and you know, you know, Paul, if we ever build another store, we're going to put a house in that store. And you did, and this is it. This is the culmination of that idea. That was the first time I recall hearing it. Then later on, you, as, as time rolled, you bought my business, the Top Advantage business uh, that you still run and operate. I was uh, opening up the Pittsburgh market. I was traveling on the, on the turnpike and you called me and said, hey Paul, would you be interested in helping us figure out what to do on the inside of our store? <laughs> and I said, I'm in. <laughs> You're in. I, 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 yeah, that's what I remember. Yeah. yeah, you know, we were always looking for the Cabela's Mountain. Right, you know, Wayne and right, I would we always used say, to talk about that. What's our Cabela's Mountain? Yeah. Mountain? And, and so that house became that, and we, you know, a marketing tool, a way to bring people here. Uh, so that's where that came from. So when you were building this, you know, we, we kind of uh, put you in here and said, build, us, build a house in here. It and was very scary. They put way too much confidence in me, I thought, and gave me too much room to do. But, but I also appreciated that. And they did not, you guys didn't, didn't like, I don't remember ever saying, no, you can't do that. You never did. So Paul, there's lots of things in, our, in this building that uh, have your fingerprints on it. Uh, and, but probably most notably is, is this idea house and also the row houses that are kind of, kind of here behind us. Uh, can you talk a little bit about how those came about? How, how, how did we happen to have this row of, of historical <laughs> houses? Well, you know, we, we traveled some, you and I did, and, and looked for ideas, and we had many conversations. Uh, uh, it, it was actually a trip to Las Vegas, and we were looking around, looking at everything, and um, we wandered into this area, I think it was called New York, New York, maybe? But it was just a facade. It looked like New York City. Inside was, I said, ah, well, there's an idea. And one day, I, I, I came up with this, uh, idea that, hey, we could build architectural styles, the, uh, the uh, farm, the Midwest farmhouse, uh, and the four styles we have back there that represent the architectural details that we find in Northeast Ohio. How we have built houses from these kind of original housing and where we've come to today. You had an idea about American Made, and you had watched a, a, a uh, documentary somewhere about, you know, it was a slow time in, in the economy here in the U.S. And, it really was. And we were thinking more, everybody was trying to think of ways to get the economy moving. And uh, so that Made in USA was a big deal, and 
That was one of your first concepts. Talk a little bit about that. Yeah, I just felt it would be a unique kind of a draw if people would know that uh, it was 100%, not 100%, but made in the USA. And to, to qualify for made in the USA, it's substantially made in the USA. And actually, as it turns out, we did accomplish that. And, and at the time, Howard, there were, there were no, I remember the gas, there were no people. The economy was really in the tank. And, and so that actually was good for building because we had access to the best carpenters and the best builders this community has to offer. We got down to uh, the cabinets, then the cabinet handles. If you recall, we never had ca uh, cabinet handles on the drawers or doors because we couldn't find any American made. Now we could have, we could have gone and bought some fancy custom knobs, but we didn't. We chose to sort of, it, it, act, it added to the story of how much is imported. Toward the end of the project, and I, I could see that we really had something special here as the painting went on and the colors and the thing be, became real from the concept to real. Uh, that we, we had done an amazing thing here that was going to last and it was going to be impactful to not only the community but the larger community. And, uh, uh, and, and the, just the way we came together as a community of builders and we had the best built. So I, I, wrote a th I wrote a thank you letter and I wish I could find it, but I couldn't find it to bring to this occasion. But essentially saying, but not only have we built these wonderful displays and these houses, which so grateful for the opportunity, uh, but we built a legacy, something that can stand and our grandchildren, I imagine my grandchildren sometime come to the store and say, whoa, look what our fathers have built and being impressed by it, you know? And so we built a legacy of, and now this can move on, and that's, uh, that's how I see it. This isn't the end. This is, was the beginning of this thing. And it can become something more and something else now. April 12th, 2012, we opened the store. I remember it you well. Remember it well. <laughs> And uh, you had opportunity to be back here when people came back, and, and uh, of course this was one of the places everybody wanted to see. Uh, you were able to, you know, you gave tours and things too, but what was the response? How did people seem to yeah. take this new idea house? It, it was, it was, um, it was so, uh, what's the word, Satis a lot of satisfaction in seeing the, ah, they were just, they were stretched and they were Googling and looking around and ooing and, oh, look at that. Uh, but but yeah, it was uh, it was really cool to watch, and and over the years, just to, to hear the comments, and uh, uh, it, it's been very uh, a lot of satisfaction. It's brought a lot of satisfaction satisfaction in my life. I think to become elder, as we are, is to recognize uh, and to sort of start to understand the life journeys we've been on. And it makes sense. Oh, I know why that, you know, and it leads you to this point in time. And, and I see that. I see this as an opportunity for sort of the culmination of my life, during, uh, my life work. And, uh, and I think, you know, I, I think people say, what are these ideas? I think everybody can do this. I don't feel like I have an exceptional anything. I'm not, you do I'm, not I'm not schooled <laughs> for it. I didn't go to school. I'm just a homemade designer, you know, and uh, high school is as far as I went. With all the success we've had with this, this uh, idea house, uh, you know, people ask, you know, why are we going to, to update it and change it? So, you know, back in, uh, when we originally were looking at, at visiting other stores and trying to decide uh, how we wanted this store to look and some of the ideas that we got there, we noticed that people don't keep up their displays mm -hmm. and, you know, they, they were tired. And we made a commitment at that point in time that uh, in five years, we're going to remodel this place. In 2017, we did that. And in 10 years, we're gonna replace this. And uh, we, just, we just feel like if we don't stay updated and so forth, um, you know, I know in your, in your email address, you say, shame on same. <laughs> so I'm sure you understand a little bit about you know, why change is inevitable. Yeah. But how are you feeling about us doing I, this? I mean, it, it's, it's a mixed feeling for sure. I mean, I have, uh, uh, I have mixed feelings about it, but we did make that commitment from the get-go and uh, I knew it would happen. Things need to be updated and things need to be current. And I, I, 
looking back, I wish we would have had big buckles and could unsnap these walls somehow and uh, you know make it an easier takedown. But, but it is what it is, but it, it's time, and I think uh, of the new generation, it's time they put their fingerprints on it, not just Paul Miller's. And uh, that's, I look forward to see what they come up with. It's right and good that they do this. Well, that's very gracious of you, Paul. No, and it's, I it's how I feel. Paul, I, I uh, assume you know that part of what we're doing here, uh, we're gonna re disassemble this house and we're gonna take any salvageable products that we could salvage out of here right. uh, to the thrift shop uh, for them to sell and to be used for the use in third world countries, the funds. Uh, how does that make you feel or what do you think about that? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I guess it, it, it feels good to know that as it, that parts and pieces of this store it has benefited a lot of people locally, but it will continue to endure in other places and pieces of it will endure for a long time to help the less fortunate. And uh, so that, that's a good feeling. It's, it's, uh, it's gonna be used again. And, and that's good I, and right. It was the opportunity of a lifetime and thank you and your family for allowing me to have the privilege. Um, I, I, I remember the night, the, the evening before we opened, I worked late that night, it was 10, 11 o'clock, maybe midnight, and I was the last one in the store, one of the last, and there was nobody around, and I just walked through here. I couldn't believe it. I just, it, it felt so, so, uh, yeah, we did this. It felt satisfa satisfaction, and I just felt so much, I was just so grateful that we had an opportunity to paint this beautiful place. 